So Darren's going to have to talk to Dar Davin. It's coming at 9. I guess we'll do the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I move we approve the minutes of the October 26th meeting. Yeah, man. I am uh, second. It's been moved and second. We adopt the minutes of October 26th. 26th. I'll dare say aye. 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 Motion carried. Do you have anything? No. Uh, we'll recess. Okay, this is um, a tax abstract for the year. I'm supposed to bring in a settlement every, even though it's not here. So, this is a um, tax roll abstract for the 2015 year. Um, our, in the first column there, our original tax roll was $12,095,000. And then we have escaped and added and abate taxes. Payments that were current were $11,797,000. And then we've had delinquent payments of $79,000. Refunds, we've done $4,900 in refunds. $177,000 is our outstanding balance for the 2015 year. So, and then it breaks it down by percent. 98.5 is collected, 1.48 is outstanding. So. That's about typical for the percentage. Uh -huh. And I've always been told anything under 3% is really good. So, I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. We do have pretty good taxpayers, really, all in all. They want to pay their bills, so. So these are what's on the delinquent tax we have now is included in this? Um, it could be if they have prior years delinquent also with the 15 year. This would be for next year. you got to have so many years delinquent, so I think the 2012 year is what's qualifying tax for roll for the or tax sale parcels. And most likely, uh, yeah, if the 2012 is delinquent, most likely the 15 is delinquent, of course. But not all of these would be, because this could, some of these could be, it's the first year they haven't paid them. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I think 98% is pretty. Yeah. 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 You pretty much think it's kind of where it's at, though, because we've far enough out now that you'll have trouble collecting the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. So we might be the one that And then <clears throat> I kind of wanted to ask you I had a customer complain last year. Um, when I send out tax statements, I everything for that address I send in one envelope to save postage money. So for example, my house, if there's a tax statement for Kristen Milton and a tax statement mm -hmm. for Jacob and one for Lisa and I and they all get put in the same yeah. envelope. Well, somebody called and said they wanted theirs be sure to put it in separate envelopes. And that would cost the county more yeah, money. Yeah. But I wanted to run it by you guys, ask you if you wanted me to do that or not. I really don't think from saving taxpayer dollars, I I don't think it's necessary, but do they live in the same household? Huh? Do they live in the same household? That the people complain? Yeah, they're just basically different entities. So it's the same it. person. They have the same address. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So if you have any complaints, 
be sure to. Right. Well, that's close. Yeah. And they were not very happy at all last year. They said, be sure not to do that again. But I can't do it for one. And I, yeah. It's a question I answer when I'm doing that. Do, you know, do you want all taxpayer IDs in one envelope or with the same address or not? It's a yes or no answer. So. Say that's what we do for everybody else. And I'm not going to start special polls for certain people. So. Okay, wanted to clarify that. So, And then also, you guys had. Oh, I brought the wrong. No, I didn't. I a long time ago, I talked to you about um, possibly having a. People to have access to um, go online and look up their taxes, and it was like five thousand dollars, I think, if you remember the first estimate. But then you wanted me to see if there was other offices that could go online. You wanted me to go ahead and get a quote. So basically, it's the appraiser portal that could be added to that too. And that would be a total of ten thousand six twenty-five. Eight twenty-five. And um, now, if you turn it over, then annually the price would be thirty-one hundred dollars to support that. And it doesn't tap into our server. It's our server. They grab a copy of our tax roll every day, and it goes out on their server. And when people look it up, they're going to their server, and they're not even touching ours. Um, we get a lot of phone calls from, you know, mortgage companies, banks, um, abstractors that don't want to drive to town, but they need to know the tax amount. Um, it would mainly help my office. I asked Carl about his office he he didn't think it was really necessary in his office and and he's you know his point was and he had a good point at what point um i mean do we spend more taxpayer dollars just to service a few you know he he had a good point so i don't know if it's something you want to look do or not when could they get that information i mean could you look now and see what you're going to have to pay in December? No, she doesn't even have it ready. Yeah. Um, so but as soon as it would be turned over, it would be available. But like right now, we're getting a lot of calls for last year's taxes. They want because mortgage companies want to make sure their customers are paying their taxes. So we get a lot of calls. I want to, and they'll even send us lists. How do they get on that? Do they have to have a password and all that to get on each person? I think it's a link just out on the website. So you have that anybody? It's public information. Yeah, but oh. so if I hand your you just set it on the look on your computer and see what everybody else is paying. That's what they want to do. <laughs> yeah. It's on Facebook. Yeah. I guess they, I don't know. Yeah. To do. I mean, we I have people come in our office and ask us what so and so's taxes are. I mean, you know, that's no big deal. Yeah. At least they have to work for it a little bit. But they don't. They call us. Oh. They don't work for it. They oh. call us. All right. And then it's tying us up on the phone. I mean, I suppose it'd be all right. You said originally it was only five thousand. Then yeah, you if, if you just them. do the treasure portal, my portal, I would be more inclined just to do that. Then. Does anybody else really want to use it? Carl really doesn't have an interest for it. I, if you're going to do that, just do. The and there is a clerk module, but that's more like if you want people to look up their payroll stuff. Mm -hmm. I know you don't want that, so. I know, like where Krista works, she can sign on and get all her information. Nothing wrong with that. All that. The county's in the polls. Uh, no. Well, we're not big enough to do that. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if, if that's something that you guys are interested in to do or not. 
would save you any time in there? It save us phone calls. It really would. With the price be, you don't really know what the well, price would be if we just yeah. put the treasures on there. I, I'm pretty sure it was right at five thousand. I I can go well, down. Thirty three. Well, for the appraiser, it was thirty-three twenty, a thousand and twenty, two thirty-five, and nine sixty-five. And then the treasure was twenty-six thirty-five, ten one eighty-five, and seven sixty-five. I'll leave it up to you guys. It saves us time to be able to work on commercial work. Um, and a, a lot of customers, when they call, they ask, do you have that online? Um, a, a lot of people are even here, and they work, look up records and register dates, and they go back to the office, they think they can look it up online, and they end up calling us, and they say, we thought that would be online. So we were there, but we didn't even come in. And, and then when we're busy, for people that don't look it up on the computer, even here down the hall, they got to wait in line in our office. Um, so but it's, it really doesn't matter to me. I you, mean, you look that up by the. How do you look that up by the? Oh, people if they have their the legal order, description. Legal description. How about a house in town? Um, if by you address. Can look it up by address, or if you know the person's name. But yeah, for somebody online, they probably do it by address or by legal. And you can think about if it. If they would call, then you'd say, no, it's available online. So it's still, it's still not going to eliminate the phone call. It's not going to eliminate all. But what it does is but eliminate you, you going in. Mm -hmm. and, and people that are computer, you know, you always got to serve all, you got to serve people mm -hmm. that are computer. Um, Savvy and people that don't have computers, um, we still have to serve them, you know. So it's not going to eliminate all, but but um, the main people that call the mortgage companies, banks, you know, those people I know for sure. Get online and use it. You know, there are a lot of people wanting to see if my taxes are higher than my neighbors. No, there's, there's a lot of that. They call and have to sit there. And, Looking up. Okay, what's this person's taxes? But that's okay. That's they can look it up or they can call you in and find out. Anyway. Yeah. What we're there for. That's what it's for. Yeah, we probably got to get all this together. But is there money in the budget for that? I don't have, I didn't allow for it in mine. Um, I could probably swing it, and that, I don't know if that's something you want me to start putting in my budget every year, then I would have to increase it, or since it's accounting that serves, I, I don't know where, what you want to do. I don't have it in general. I'm telling you that right now. I mean, make it real tight, we did. Yeah, I'll think about doing oh, no. right away. Just know. think about it. Yeah. That's fine. But uh, yeah, I think you ought to put it in your budget. Because in I don't, it not only it helps my office, I mean, the appraisal information's there too. I mean, people, so it's going to, other, it's, it's not just specific mm -hmm. to my office because if you get on there, you can see. Uh, appraisal information also in mill levy and so it it does that's why I don't know if it should really be taken out of my budget either but 
if you wanted to and you wanted to do it, I could sure plan for it next year. And I could probably swing it this year. Well, I'd have to look at it. Yeah. Right. Well, you might also, you know, kind of make a tally of how many phone calls you do get and how long, and how long it takes to give them that information, you know, as opposed to what it'd be with a phone call and say, okay, just go online and, you know what I'm saying? Well, how many? I, could t I mean, I could tally that in the next week, but I mean, this is yeah, but I mean, just, just to give it. Whether uh, people are you know, calling me or not at that time. An idea of how much, how much time it would say. It usually is what the banks do. They they just fax us lists. Okay. I mean, it's yeah. pages. And if it's too much, we do charge them a research fee because we're sitting there doing their work and they should come down and do it themselves. So. All right. But yeah, it really makes no difference to me. I just, when, when it's really busy, it just, it takes us away from commercial work and then that slows us down on commercial, so. Yeah. But it really doesn't it's just matter. providing another service yeah. at a price tag. Yeah, so. <laughs> that, that's, that's the big question, at what point do we keep putting some of this on taxpayers when maybe not all people are using it? Probably won't be long though before they're required to do something like that. Yeah, right there. Everything is online anymore. Really. If you, it is. If you That's the have anything, you can always get online. I would rather it be password sensitive though that you can look at everybody else's, but I guess they can do that anyway. I asked them, you know, like if people could have a sign on and like we invoice them, like charge them 25 bucks or something, but this doesn't have that capability. And there's times I, I think, well, I wonder what I pay for taxes on that quarter or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sometimes it'd be easier just to go online, look it up, and yep. try to find your tax statement. Yep. Okay, all right, well, Sending out tax statements, I will um, put all in one envelope instead of each taxpayer separate, which that would have, I think it could have potentially doubled our postage. I really do. Yeah, I don't think for that. But there's no way to know unless you did it for sure what it would be. Okay, thank you. David. What about Hutch? 
Um, I haven't talked with Hutch. Um, I know that Hutch is sharing their training facility with Hutch and Fires. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much their training facility is actually available. Um, I came to call and talk to them pretty much. I just thought I'm not sure how often yeah. they would actually be open to this. Now. I do know that one of the drawbacks um, is we would have to take equipment out as well. And so to do actual live fire in training in their facilities, we would have to take some sort of truck to take with to do structure fire mm -hmm. And so we have an agreement with the cities. And if, if the cities would be okay with us taking one of their engines out, I mean, mm -hmm. we can look at that. I think it would be better to be able to use our equipment to the equipment that we'd be using on the city. What would you on price. That's no, it's the same price. I just brought more in case you guys wanted that. Let me look at it. My only concern about this is that we cleaned up an eyesore, and I don't want to start another one. I understand. And Some walls in there, um, but they'd be mostly plywood uh, and not drywall. We're going to be replacing that wall. How how is it held down? I mean, you've got to keep away from the water away. Right. Um, when speaking with Marshall, when we were talking, we once it was actually set up, and we would come in and weld the top portion to the bottom portions. I mean, is it, you got footing for it and all that stuff? They were planning for it to actually come in, level it off, and prep the site. Now, whether or not they were actually... I don't know. Are they going to anchor it down? Yeah. I, that, I that's a really good that question about that. that. That's what I thought of. You don't want it blowing away. Yeah. So, and I'm not sure how much the chicken is actually weighing. I would think it'd be pretty much. Right now, I don't, think I, can, yeah, I don't think I can justify it anymore. Uh, thanks. So, if, if, so you're saying that Hutch, you'd have to bring your own equipment? Probably Hutch and Rick and both. Um, when I did talk with Paul Tono, it didn't sound like they really wanted to use their equipment to take it out of service. Um, so we'd probably have to take equipment up there. So either Hutch or Rick and probably have to take so what's Pawnee and, and uh, what's Pawnee County doing? I, I'm not sure what Pawnee County is. I don't believe Edwards goes to the Edwards. I think Pratt. I think the most Pratt has is a, a little upstairs kind of thing on their new station. But it's not like I read like that. It's just basic skills training. Well, what I was thinking is that you know, if we move, did this, could we collaborate with Edwards and Bonnie and maybe they share? I don't know. I don't know what the requirements are for the training. And I where they would have to bring their equipment over here as well? I think that would be, I mean, I think it would be easier for us to use our equipment here if they wanted to use it because I think if we had something come out, we could always drop our hose and still be able to respond, especially here in St. John. Um, I think it would kind of be up to them as to whether or not they want right. to train with their right. equipment. Or, but it is something that I mean, we can look, to, look back to and visit with the county county chief and the other county chief and see if they would be having any interest in that. But this is a requirement for certification and it's not necessary. Or this is to improve the skills. This is to improve skills because there's two, I mean, 
we don't have too often any structure fires and things like that, so, mm -hmm. which is good, mm -hmm. um, but we are not able to keep our skills without a, a way to train. So I don't want any more structure fires, that's for sure. <laughs> So I just want to be able when the fire does come out to be able to do it, you know, physically. <coughs> I can call and work with them and okay. find out some more information. Alrighty. Thank you. Yeah. What was going on out there, Rob? A little recess. Robinson texted me this morning He said at the last meeting I attended we discussed me adding a cell phone to my plan to be dedicated to Stafford County to the commissioners, the judges and law enforcement. I checked with her Verizon. They will sell me a phone for $50 and it adds $15 per month. Fifty fifteen. The phone costs fifty, and then we'll add fifteen dollars per month to his bill that we would reimburse. We, yeah. would, pay, we would pay basically. Right, right. We'd be paying to buy the phone in fifteen dollars a month, so that we could actually get a hold of him. And I think it that would be, be fine. Awesome. Yeah. Do you want to make that in the motion? I move that we pay fifty dollars for his phone and pay the fifteen dollars a month. To have a dedicated line to the upcoming new county attorney. I second it. So the motion is made and seconded. We pay the $50 for the phone and the $15 uh, monthly payment for Mr. Robinson's cell phone. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Yes. Now we're recess. <laughs> Anything else? I have nothing. I have nothing. We're adjourned.